testing process for this. When you found, I'm sorry, I'm going to ask the question. Uh, <laughs> when you found Miguel, was it just like, that's it? Or was it like, was it still teetering between people? Or yeah, well, how did I'll, it? I'll try to tell this very quickly, but um, we, when we're making the films, when we're cutting our story reels, putting the storyboards together, we most often just have folks at Pixar do the voices for the characters until we've actually cast the Pixar actors. players. Pixar players. <laughs> um, but since Miguel was going to be in this entire film, I didn't want to just have an adult doing his voice. So we actually found a local kid in the Bay Area named Emilio Fuentes to do the, so it was just totally a temporary voice. But he was really, really good. He was a great kid and he really helped us find the character. Um, but these movies take so long to make that his voice changed. Mm -hmm. And um, so sad. But we also <laughs> knew that, that this was going to be the problem for finding the kid to play Miguel, because Miguel's supposed to be 12 years old. Um, as Darla said, we had to really thread a needle to find him, because he needed to be Latino, he needed to be able to act, which is no small ask to find a kid who can act well. Um, <laughs> and he, he moving naturally. Be, yeah, he needed to be mature you know, be able to do these long recording sessions and take direction and stay and be focused. Um, and, uh, and I needed him to be young so that his voice wouldn't change, ultimately. So we, it, it was this kind of game of chicken of when to actually cast somebody. So Emilio grew up and his voice changed and so we needed to find another kid to do Scratch. And it was in that search for a Scratch kid that, Emil uh, that uh, Anthony Gonzalez showed up. And um, you know, I part of the casting process, right? But, but we brought him in just yeah. to do the scratch, and we, we hired him to do the scratch. And it was a little ways into working with him that we all kind of realized that we had found our kid. I mean, he was we knew he was really special from the get go because he not only gave a great audition, but he even even though we weren't asking for Miguel to be able to sing at that point in the story process, um, Anthony showed up and asked if he could sing for us. He brought a CD he wanted to sing along with. We didn't have a CD player, so he said, oh, I'll just sing. And he, so he sang a cappella, this beautiful 10-minute song in Spanish to us. And uh, he was just... The is cute. He was cute. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw him today. His voice is actually changing now, but thank God we got through the movie. <laughs> he was 10 years old. We're like, okay, we can change now. He's 13 now. Yeah. That's great. Wow. The so how long does it take to, to, to me? I want to hear a little bit more about the produ production process of this film. Um, I mean, you know, when did you when did you do that, the original scratch track? Was that two years ago, three years ago? Well, I first pitched the idea for this film in September of 2011. So it's been six years Holy that man. we've been working on this. Non non-stop, pretty much. Um, did you have any of those bumps you keep hearing about? We hear in the, the trades we about 